What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to go over what I keep in my October surf bag. October is by far my favorite month for surf fishing on Long Island. There's just so many options. You have big bass running the south shore. You have some big bass running into the north shore with some real good quantities of like schoolie bass up on the north shore. You know, it really takes off with the striped bass fishing on both shores in October. Big blue fish will enter some of the north shore back bays. You can have a great run of those some years, some years you don't. Obviously blackfish is on, uh, you know, I think it opens on the 11th on the North Shore and then the 15th on the South Shore. That's another awesome option. I wait all year for that. I love black fishing. Um, and then the pelagics are still around. It's it's actually probably the best month for pelagic fishing all around. You know, on in um, late September, early October, you get better Albion Bonito fishing on the South Shore. And then, you know, the second half of October and into November, it gets probably a little better on the North Shore. I catch Albies and, and Bonito from shore on the North Shore. Uh, later in October. So there's just so many options for really good surf fishing um, in the month of October. Now let's go over a little bit about what I have in my bag. So this is a gear up 4-2 uh, surf bag. I have a, a rock hopper surf belt here. I probably should upgrade that. Uh, Danco pliers, they're not great, but I always just go through at least one pair of pliers a year. So, um, And then a, a Spyderco Pacific Salt uh, knife. I carry a leader wallet here where I have you know, all different liters from 12 pound fluorocarbon up to 80 pound fluorocarbon, and just a little some other extra tackle items I keep in here too, just in case I need. Um, that's always important to have in your surf bag. I keep uh, otter tail jig strips for the bucktails here. You know, bucktails are killer in early October for big bass when they're running on the, in the South Shore sand beaches. Um, that, you know, that bass I caught last Sunday, that 40 inch bass was uh, on this two ounce bucktail, but I keep bucktails from two and a half ounces down to like three eighth ounce. Now some nighttime lures for bass and blues, mainly on the south shore. Here's a uh, super strike uh, yellow darter. I have a uh, yellow needlefish too. Yellow seems to be great at night, you know, in the ocean surf. Uh, here's a black uh, Ron Z, I guess it's like an eel. Um, this has been really good. I've gotten, I've gotten chopped off by blues a lot, but I've caught some nice bass on these. Um, my favorite uh, North Shore nighttime plug is just this Blurple SP Minnow here. That's great for bass and blues on the North Shore at night. Now different top water options I have. This is a Yozuri, kind of like walk the dog with this thing. Um, I love this. I believe it's a, I forget the name, I think Creek Chub or something like that. Um, yeah, as you can see, this thing's got a lot of use. A lot of bluefish hits in you know in that mid uh, October on the North Shore back bays there. Great topwater plug. Then for the you know South Shore ocean surf, a much bigger uh, Super Strike, a uh, little neck popper, and then just some of my favorite swimming plugs. Again, this is a Super Strike bottle plug. Uh, good for the blue color I like during the mullet run. I think the mullet are mostly gone now. That's like a one week run we get of them. Um, but uh, yeah, this is good for big water, um, really dig digging into big ocean surf. Then on the North Shore and also on the South Shore too sometimes. These are, I keep SP minnows. Bone color is one of my favorites. Uh, the, the bunker color is also one of my favorites. This one here. Uh, I like the, the smallest size of SP minnows as well as the one size up. I don't like the bigger one. I don't find it swims so well. And this is the SP minnow in the sardine color. Uh, this is a little uh, Yozuri crystal minnow I'll use on the North Shore with, on some light tackle. This can be a great peanut bunker imitation when you want to throw something with a little smaller profile than an SP minnow. Um, now for soft plastics, you, yeah, I got to have a ton of soft plastics, um, North Shore and the South Shore. Uh, I have a uh, Storm Pearl Colored Swim Chats. I like them in 4 inch and 5 inch. Some bigger like Tsunami ones. Uh, I believe that's Tsunami. Yeah, all different ones. Berkeley. I got some bigger ones too I keep, you know, just for sometimes in the rough inlets, rough ocean. You really need some heavy. This is a 2, a two ounce jig head. Um, I believe it's it's like egg eggs or something like the uh, the name of this soft plastic, but that that's been good too. Yeah, so th those are just my main plugs I keep in the tubes, and then let's go over some of my tins and epoxies. Uh, I keep a ton of diamond jigs, both for pelagics and for bass. You know, in the ocean surf when they start running on um, sand eels, that's more at the at the end of October. Sand eels are a little pr unpredictable to know when they're going to hit, but when they are hitting the ocean surf, the bass are all over them. And diamond jigs are a great imitation um, uh, for sand deals. So I have everything from uh, 007 all the way up to 827 size, depending on you know how rough the water is, how, or how bad the wind is, how far you need to cast. And then yeah, so I mentioned there's a lot of pelagic fishing opportunities on both the North Shore and the South Shore uh, during uh, the month of October. 
Um, so I'm gonna have all sorts of uh, small tins and epoxy jigs. So yeah, in the middle we have uh, two sizes of Deadly Dicks. I always like the green color. Um, this is a Joe Bags epoxy. I keep three different types of, four actually, different types of hoagie epoxy jigs. Those are probably all around my favorite. I find they perform the best, you know, the small size all the way up to, you know, this is a bigger one. Um, yeah, this is another Joe Bags one here, a little heavier. I find the Joe Bags ones cast a little farther. Uh, they're a little denser than the, than the hoagies. And then this is just a, a, a lead jig um, if you really need some distance. And yeah, got to have these, like I said, North Shore and the South Shore. There's a lot of pelagic fishing opportunities, mainly just Bonito and Albies, but those are the two most exciting ones to catch anyway. So um, yeah, definitely got to have these. And then finally for blackfish, I'll keep a bunch of um, uh, like bottom jigs here to present, you know, Asian, Asian crabs or green crabs or sometimes white crabs, whatever kind of crabs I can, I can forage. Um, you know, these are great for catching blackfish, so much better than using a high-low rig. Um, I keep a bunch. I only have one on, one here right now. I got to pick up some more. Um, size is usually like three eighth ounce, all the way up to three ounce. I keep uh, that one's a little on the heavier side. And yeah, in October, the the when the season first starts, earlier October, or I guess on the South Shore it starts mid October. The, the earlier in the season you can go out is your best chance to catch them from shore. Um, pretty soon soon after the season's open, they start you know, heading out into deeper water. So if you're targeting uh, blackfish from shore, you're gonna wanna, you're not gonna wanna wait on that the second the season opens. Um, and yeah, that's that's what I keep in my October surf bag. Again, like I said, it's my favorite month of the year to fish. So many opportunities, so much action. The full run just really takes off. Everything comes to life all over the island. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'll try to put links to as much of the gear as I can in the description below, and I'll see you all in the next video.